This morning's dangerously cold weather comes from a blast of Arctic air known as a polar vortex. The nation is dealing with conditions not seen in decades. Today's high temperature in Minneapolis is expected to be minus 11. Time Magazine senior editor Brian Walsh is with us. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. So what is this polar vortex? Well, polar vortex is a, a sort of a, almost like a hurricane that forms over the poles, the Arctic in this case. Extremely fast moving winds, very, very cold, dense air. This isn't unusual, but what happens in this case actually is that the winds weaken somewhat and that cold Arctic air spills over down into us. So, but is it stronger week this year than it has been in the past? Well, it's definitely, I mean, this is a case when you have these kind of cold snaps, it means it's weakened somewhat. And there is some th theories actually that some of the warming actually you're seeing up in the Arctic might be changing the atmospheric circulation in that part of the world, actually causing those winds to weaken and maybe makes these cold spells a little more likely than they would otherwise be. So there has been an in increase in the frequency of these polar vortexes. Yeah, I mean, that's what we, we remember. There's a couple winters ago where we had another sort of similar cold snap. We've had a few strong snowstorms. This despite the fact that we're still seeing warming happening in the winter and the rest of the year. So there is some theory that maybe this is changing this atmosphere, making it more likely. So I, go ahead. I was going to say, I, I mean, this is the first time I've heard the phrase polar vortex, and I don't feel like I'm out of it. I mean, were you familiar with it? I was not that familiar with it, no, but now, of course, it's one of those terms that's, that's everywhere, and it really, it does sort of explain, you know, if you think of it as a hurricane up in the north and you see that wind spilling down, you can actually see the temperatures falling up to the upper Midwest all the way down to the south. Mm -hmm. um, is it definitely com uh, connected to a global warming? Potentially it's connected to that. Potentially. I mean, these, these, these have been happening already. What's new, per perhaps, is the fact that the winds may actually be weakening. That could be due to warming in the Arctic, changing the atmospheric circulation, therefore making it more likely for that cold, dense air to escape the vortex, spill down to us. A lot, of, pe a lot of people are asking this question, when will it end? <laughs> it's it the good news. It'll be very short-lived. It should be by the, by the middle of the week you'll see it. Temperatures going back to normal, back up 40, 40, 30 degrees above where they are now. I mean, there's you, you need a polar vortex to explain why it was 54 degrees this morning right. here in New when York City, out, and exactly. then it's going to be about 10 degrees by tonight. When I stepped outside, I said, why do I have a coat on? Yeah, <laughs> it, it felt very balmy. Yeah, exactly. It felt balmy. Yeah. Brian, good to see you. Good to see you.